some some quinoa to cook and I'm using my Amir digital kitchen scale mm -hmm. just get it and it's fairly a good thing yeah pretty much just take it out take the batteries inside Good to go. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try get um, eight ounces. Almost there. It. Wow. And we can take out back some. And see? Good. Yeah. That's how you use your, your kitchen scale. And now we go put this quinoa to boil. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you. So I've chosen to make some quinoa today and I'm using um, butternut squash. Yeah, see that? And let me see, yeah, some butternut squash. I've already cut a piece of it and I've sliced it into thin slices like this. And then I am now cutting those into, I cut, it, cut them into julians and now I'm cubing them or dicing them into little small dices. Alright. And this is going to go into my quinoa. Right. And I've already weighed out my rice, my quinoa, with my um, Amir scale. Yeah. And there's a link to, to if you want to purchase a scale like this, there's a link in, in the description box. You can check it out. All right. So, I'm doing this prep work and then I will come back to let you know what else is going to go into my quinoa and there's different people different people um different people pronounce it different ways so don't come for me all right i'm going healthy today this is a suitable um vegan or vegetarian yeah let me say vegetarian coming in here Vegetarian dish. So, yep. Here I have some shrimp stock. 
yeah may use shrimp stock you can use water i have two cups of shrimp stock right here and i'm just gonna pour in my potatoes <coughs> yeah i love the knocking and i'm gonna put eh oh and a potato my main so sure. make i get confused i mean my butternut squash i'm gonna pour this in and get this started because this is the hardest thing to cook out of everything we may make so as soon as this come up back to a boil and the potato them cook we we'll move to the next step remember so the uh butternut squash has been um cooking for about about seven to ten minutes now and them soft yeah and I'm gonna add my next item which is some uh, sweet corn and this is the frozen one and it's about um about an ounce of the frozen one and we just want that for just get a little bit uh just get acclimatized to the hot water to the hot broth <laughs> all right and then we're gonna add our quinoa mm -hmm. Now that my, the, the water come up back to a boil, I'm going to add my, my quinoa. And this quinoa was washed here yeah, and strained. So you have a nice strainer as per the, the, the package instructions. And you just dump it in now. Yeah. And you're going, to, you're going to stir it just to get everything incorporated. Make it come back up to a little boilish. Turn up the stove a little bit. Yeah, going to make it come up to a boil. And the next thing you're going to do is, once it get up to a boil, you are going to turn the stove off. And leave it for about five minutes or so and yeah we're good to go mm -hmm. see the boiler come back yeah man yes 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 it's been a little bit that I I you know have it on and see how it look now so look guys yeah after it come up to a boil you make it boil for about 15 minutes and then you turn it off and you're gonna make it stay like like on on the stove now for another five minutes or so you use the fork and you move it up and down make sure it's set yeah it's set nice look good in a man look so good look so good and the final thing now we may gonna do is we have some green onion two stalk of scallion and some uh um what you call it cilantro i'm gonna really cut up my cilantro guys so I'm mean, just going to move this in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Quinoa. It quinoa turn up. It turned up right now. Yeah. Quinoa is turning up. Yeah. And then I'm going to just leave it covered like this now for a little bit and make it go on steam. Yes. Make it go on steam. See it there? That is so nice. It looks so divine. Yeah, remember me tell you. So here is my finish. You know some always says so. Every time I start my conversation, I say so. This is the finish um quinoa dish guys. And as you can see, I'm not put nothing with it. I just put it in another plate for you to see what the end result is gonna be. This can be had with your favorite meat kind or vegetable kind or if you want have it just like this. That's fine too. Yeah. You know, and I think it's a very, 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 very healthy alternative to rice. You now I know in all sense, in all cases, there are some who will counteract whatever, but yeah. Sweet corn and butternut squash and the quinoa and 
just put it with your favorite meat kind. Your favorite, what do you call that? Meat, what do you call meat kind? Staple? I'm not staple, that. Eh? Protein. Protein, your favorite protein. I don't trust you, you know. I don't know where that come from. But yeah. So, try it now you're in the neck of the woods. You understand? Come up with some ways, means, or, you know, to do your thing and make your thing come out nicely. And of course, guys, remember to check out the description box. In the description box, I will have links as to, you know, where you can get your quinoa to buy or stuff like that. And of ways in which you can support Yada Belly, um, you know, escapades. We're vlogging and with this and with that. And also business inquiry if you need a, a stand-up comedian or an MC, email me. All of them something there in the description box. So check it out, yeah? A one-stop shop. I thought we say, yeah, the belly in a way, in a for it. Thank you once again for watching my videos. I appreciate each and every person that does. And yeah, the food, the food, the food. Mmm, quinoa, 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 quinoa.